And what's going on? It's your boy Gabe. First time visiting the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and join in on the comments below. Now, in this video, you're going to see me trade live. This is a live stream recorded for our Discord members exclusively at trade1348.com. And if you're wondering what trade1348 is, it's basically a community that is built around the 13 and the 48 EMA trading system. Now we have proprietary indicators, which include traffic lights, thigh gap, and confluence. And tied together, what you have is quite possibly the most profitable day trading strategy coupled with the most powerful trading indicators. And you don't have to take my word for it. I trade live, my community of tens of thousands follow along. But what I want you guys to see is how we utilize levels, how we create our trade designs, how we are able to gauge momentum, how we're able to manage our risk, because these are the most important elements of a successful day trader and a successful system. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. So we're looking at the SPY here and we see some highs. We're gonna go ahead and mark these highs. 453, you guys know what the deal is. It's Monday and you probably don't wanna play market open unless you're fast with it, right? So it's one, two, three, that's it. That's all you're doing, right? Anyways, back to the chart here. So this is what we have with the SPY on the five minute. Uh, we have confluence to the upside. We also have a traffic light and a call. Now, the idea here is, does the trend hold? It has to contend with the 453.30. That's what it has to contend with. So we need to see that hold, okay? Now, moving along, let's uh, do a trade design here, right? Because we are on the five minute and we can go either way with this. We could go short and that happens on a break of the 200 and then we have market lows and then we have uh, this level here at 453.40, right? And then alternatively, we could go ahead and then play the bullish thesis and be very, very tight with it. Of course, guys, you want to be very, very, very cautious at market open. This is your 200. I'm risking it to the level here, 452.89 and playing it up once again to the highs of the morning. So these are your designs here. Play it accordingly. Okay, so moving along, let's go ahead and check out Tesla. Now Tesla has had uh, some selling going on, right? The question is, is it cheap? Now Tesla coming into market open, we already see that there's a possible call here. And what do we wanna do? Well, we do have a level here and that's gonna be uh, 257.45, we're gonna go ahead and draw this here, right? So we wanna take that level there and we wanna go ahead and risk it to the 48. We wanna keep this super tight again, guys. This is market open should you decide to trade it. Now, if we were gonna go put side, put side happens basically when we uh, break this level right here. I mean, it, it, it could go either way. That level is super, super tight, but you can go put side and we do have a level that we could draw down to, right? So your level is gonna be here at 253.97, uber tight. Um, again, this is put side here. Uh, we could then go ahead and use this level at 257.45, and this is going to be your put thesis, okay? So this is Tesla. Now, good morning, everybody. I know it's been a hell of a weekend. Everyone just jumping back on the AMC bandwagon, and it, it, it just, it's perplexing to me, right? Because, you know, a lot of you guys are former apes who came into trade 1348 to in fact change your lives and you took responsibility and accountability to yourself, right? And what we see is just a lot of bitching and complaining. Fire Adam Aaron now, oh, right? Adam Aaron's a shell, oh. You know, there, there's, it, it just blows my mind because there's so much opportunity that exists between you and the chart and people just don't want to assume that responsibility because they're afraid of being wrong. So much so that when we go ahead and we look at what AMC has become, you see a lot of hopefuls and, and none of them are accepting the fact that they could in fact be wrong. And in my mind, that's highly irresponsible, especially if you have your life savings intertwined with this play. Now, we're gonna go back to the chart here with Tesla. As you can see, broke down 
into this level. This is your design here. It's 928, two minutes to market open. Boys and girls, this will be a fun day. As you can see, traffic light printed to the downside in big city. Thanks for the thumbs up there. You have the traffic light, excuse me, you print it to the upside. Now you have the downside with this candle here. We have broken confluence. As you can see here, the genie's telling us bearish confluence. And we do have this level here at 253.97 in contention. That is pretty dope. Well, again, we have to wait for market open. Maybe buyers go ahead and step in and just add volatility to Tesla at market open. Now, moving along, we're going to go ahead and look at community favorite because not only do we like the stock but we like the voice nvidia all right nvidia okay so with nvidia we are looking at this and we have traffic light traffic light traffic light uh-oh right red light green light red light um okay so what we want to do here is we see this level at 446.90 and what we're going to want to do is utilize this level here and we're going to base our plays off of this level at uh, 446.90. Now, the way we do this, once again, we go ahead and we draw our design. Now we could go ahead and play this up to the 200 or play it to pre-market high. As it stands right now, we are in a dominant bull trend with the put here. Hopefully uh, we get that transition into a, uh, excuse me, we have a bear trend. We're looking for a bull trend here. And we do have a level we, Right there, look at this. All right, super tight. That is a 1.57 risk to reward here. This is decent. Now, if you are going to play this to the downside and keep in mind, we got one second left and the market is open and we're already in this trade design. So we have the 200 there. Question is, does it break? Does it break? We're waiting. Yes, we got a break. Good job. Good job, Tesla. Now. What we want to see is we want to see it hold on to this trend here, right? We're not going to chase into anything. We're now fools that way. We've taught you better. We're now fools that way. What we got to do is then prepare for a bullish design. Now, the bullish design is probably going to happen right here. The break of this level right there. Do you guys see it? That level here at, uh, did it just disappear on me? Uh, 447.41, that's going to be your entry that is your bearish level. Let me uh, bring this up so it matches. All right, so that's your entry. Should you go bear side, you would be using the 200 as your risk and you would be playing it down to pre-market lows. So that is a 3.31 risk to reward. Those are your trade designs as it stands, but of course, Tesla could obviously run. And if we get a break of 449.20, then you go ahead and you continue to move the ball. That's the way we trade, right? First, we got the 200 EMA in contention. It looks like it's going to break. As you can see here, we got the diamonds here with uh, the 200 EMA there. That's basically Invictus signaling, hey, we have a cross happening, which we got right here, right? So now, as you can see, we're at the 200. We're going to go ahead and go to the one minute really quickly and understand what's happening at the one minute. And, and you could see it's that uh, there's contention right here. It just so happens to be the 200 on the five minute, right? So that gives us a clue of really what's happening. You know, always play it safe, right? Safe, not sorry. What you then can do is secure the bag here and then go ahead and redesign a play if you are bullish with, with the terms and conditions of has to break the 44920. And from there, what we do is we risk it to the 200 to keep our risk super tight. We do have a level here at 452.90. That's something we're going to respect. We're going to draw this out and let's go ahead and put that right there. So you have a trade design, one that prepares you to take profit. And I hope you did if, if you guys played this candle. And if you do get a break, you rally into this zone right here. If you get a breakdown... As you can see, it's it's really struggling in the zone. You get the breakdown, now you're going put side to 44370. Okay, that's NVIDIA. Woo! Man, how are you guys doing this morning? You guys had your coffee? You guys had your coffee? You guys are ready? It's Monday, you're making money, you play it safe. Let the market choose a direction, you play the correction. It's really that simple. Guys, it's really, really that simple. We don't have to force the trades. Instead of becoming a victim to the market, 
and feeling helpless, we can go ahead and hold firm our thesis. And as long as you do that as a trader, you will be victorious consistently. And you will also find that actually losing becomes a rarity. And you're like, whoa, what did I miss? And of course, you're adding it to your journal and your journal's like, oh yeah, you were just a dumb fuck. That's it, right? Hey, it happens. I, I, I have fart moments as well. All right, so going back to uh, the chart, let's uh, let's look at, oh, EMD on Invictus. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. Let's uh, check out Invictus. We're gonna hit the refresh here. And what we see with the uh, EMD, it's uh, predicted to come on down. Now, what I find odd is, well, uh, Invictus is also a great tool, guys. If you're trying to understand what the overall direction of the market is or where, right? Because if we get a bunch of alerts that are like red, 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 we could assume that the market is coming down. Uh, we only have one alert with Invictus. So let's go ahead and play Invictus. Let's see what this alert is doing. Also, let's go ahead and see what the traffic lights are telling us. And it's pretty much a split decision. We got the big boys coming on up with Amazon uh, doing what Amazon does, and then the Qs, NVIDIA, and AMD coming on down. Whoa, okay. So let's go ahead and look at AMD. Now, AMD, you are in a put session. Guys, remember how we talked about waiting for tickers to bottom out? And we talked about it in yesterday's masterclass. Waiting for the tickers to bottom out to find an entry. Now, this is effectively what we're going to do with AMD. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a general expectation of how much AMD moves, and we could do that with the daily ATR. That's uh, 4.35. That is the average volatility for the stock. So it's gonna move in a range of $4.35 on the day. Currently, it is down 64 cents. Now, if you're ultimately, if you're very, very, very bearish, you're looking at this former trade design here, it's it's right in that trade design, of course, bouncing from the 110.12. However, if you're looking at your indicators here, you could see that RSI was severely, uh, severely oversold. We also got thigh gap. It seems to be hitting a level right here. If you're looking at your thigh gap indicator, boys and girls. Okay, so... What I want is to see things settle. More importantly, I wanna go ahead and pay attention to the one minute. Now the one minute is letting us know that confluence is, is a, or confluence to the downside is getting weak. And we do have a level here at 110.51 to contend with. Now you got your first boom, boom candle. RSI breaking the 48. This is its first obligation, excuse me, RSI breaking its moving average. That is its first obligation. From there, we're looking for a break of the 50. MACD here, just showing a little confusion here. Uh-oh, exit liquidity, there you go. Now, again, we're looking for a bottom out. This could be the bottom out. What we wanna do is just essentially wait. Now, if we see a bunch of gray candles here, right? Broken confluence in this area for some time, that could essentially be a clue. Again, we have a level here at 110.51 and a level here at 110.60, okay? so. Let's go ahead and go back to the five minute with this and say, all right, this is our trade design. We're gonna go bull side with it at a break of this level. We could play it right to the 200, but then if we risk it to pre-market lows, that's a 1.2 risk reward. For me, that is something I'm not interested in. So it essentially needs to break a higher level. That way we could go ahead and manage our risk. Now, if we do it this way, where we break the 200, our risk becomes 2.16. So that is a 2.16 to one risk reward. And that is fairly decent. Actually, maybe I was a little too aggressive with that. Let's make that 1.92. And this only happens on the condition of breaking the 200, okay? Of course, you're allowing yourself to allow the play to develop. Are we making sense this morning? I hope we're making sense this morning, guys. Be patient and wait for the setups, okay? Now, let's go back to this here. Give me a ticker 
You know what? We have not looked at the spy. What is the spy doing in the spy? Oh, whoa, wait. Ooh. Uh, okay, so spy definitely broke through this trade design, went full on bull right here. And we could see 454 39 is the high. Now, would you go ahead and play the reversal on this? Well, of course, you do have a level there. Would you play that reversal? And this is, excuse me, sorry for that cough, guys. This is what we talked about in Masterclass. So the top has yet to be defined here. If we look at the daily, right? The bottom is, the bottom can clearly be defined at the 13, maybe even the 24, hell, maybe even the 48 as price action comes down, right? The top has not been defined. So therefore we understand that SPY or the market is in a bull trend. Would you want to bet against it? No. What you want to do is essentially find trades that match the greater trend on the four hour and the daily. We could see that the greater trend is in fact bull side. You do have confluence to the downside, but this could be chalked up as consolidation as it's using the 24 for support. So going back to the five here, you want to go ahead and allow the spy to breathe, find a level, consolidate, but you are also looking for plays that go bull side. That way you're not fighting against the overall trend. Now, should you go ahead and say, all right, well, I'm gonna play a put. Do you understand that the put is short-lived? The put is essentially the scalp. IWM moving like a mofo, looking at the 198 level on daily. All right, let's go ahead and check out IWM, uh, you guys see the Russell there, the ticker listed. Um, let's take a peek at IWM. And IWM just taking off kind of like the spy, right? Now to a novice retail investor, one would say this is market manipulation, this is controlled, etc. But you will find that the markets move in lockstep with one another. And why not? Sentiment to sentiment, usually sentiment moves like a school of fish together, right? You don't want to play against overall sentiment. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. Why would you short when everyone's buying, right? So uh, we have IWM just uh, ripping off faces right now. I don't have a trade design for this, and I'm not sure if I want to create one, considering the fact that it's run and run aggressively. Now, I am from the school of thought that what goes up must come down. However... If we go ahead and go to the daily, once again, we could see we're clearly in a bull trend. So you want to look for some retracement and then play it in its general direction. Okay, now let's go back to NVIDIA and see what NVIDIA is doing on the five minute. And you could see NVIDIA is in fact consolidating in this region, but it is also within this trade design. Now, what we see here is we got some stalling happening. We have to go ahead and look at the one and we could identify why that stalling is happening because it happened uh, the previous trading day on Friday at 445.92. We could go ahead and mark that level and say, oh, yeah, this is a level. <laughs> and as I was speaking it, it just died. So this trade design for the print Let's go to the one minute, understand what just happened here. You do have a put signal. Um, looks like RSI is coming on down. Current value, 41.72. Uh, just be mindful of this level. It might try to recapture it, right? Th th this could just be some selling pressure. Uh, someone just unloading on some NVIDIA. Does that mean that the AI hype train is over. Probably not. What it just means is that a a a NVIDIA is uh, over $1 trillion, right? I mean, could be overvalued. I mean, just depends who you ask. But fundamentally, could be overvalued. But who cares? We play the chart, right? So with this, we have the trade design on the five minute. Absolutely pay. Trade design paid. Now we're looking for the bottom out, right? That's essentially what we're looking for. You could see the wick hits this level. Okay, RSI severely, severely oversold on a five minute. 
this is a zone of opportunity, right? Because although Ursa is severely oversold, you can see that thigh gap really didn't deviate much from neutral. It did not deviate much from neutral. So this is something you have to keep in mind, okay? Uh, could we get the bounce? Very, very, very possible. Okay, moving along, let's go ahead and see what our bots and our uh, speed racer alerts are doing. So we have coin to the upside and Rivian crossed. Who's been playing Rivian? <laughs> I'm really, really interested in that. Who has been playing Rivian? Uh, now we got Speed Racer 5. We're alerting. Okay, NVIDIA down, Amazon up, Apple up, Q's up, NVIDIA up. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, you have... Oh, that's an old signal there. Uh, let's see. The AR guy has. Good job. Rivian, definitely paying. I think uh, shout-outs to STV for putting everyone on to Rivian. I believe it was looking at the four hour or the weekly chart, but either way it paid and it paid handsomely. Okay, going back to uh, NVIDIA here, you could see definite bounce. Now, does that mean we chase into the bounce here? No, we still have a condition of which it has to break the 446.90. That's the condition. If it doesn't, you're still in this trade design, okay? So I would urge you all to be careful and do not jump the gun now cbna i believe this is a diana favorite diana are you there diana are you still playing cbna i know this has actually been a fave of yours and this thing has been absolutely volatile but i'm going to show you guys something here right we go ahead and we go to the daily and we had the call and a traffic light alert uh in may this is one hell of a rally, but we're also looking at a break of confluence where we got a disagreement, and this is healthy. You have to expect the healthy pullback after this just insane march to the upside with a high of 57, 56, 57 right there. So um, shout outs to those who caught CBNA, CBNA as well. Uh, this rocket may run out of fuel. Who knows? It's just one of those days in the market, okay? So let's go ahead and check out our alerts here. We have Uber, a uh, predictive cross with Uber. We're going to check that out. All right, Uber, uh, rocket ships galore today, right? Everything took a blue chew over the weekend. But again, I'm definitely uh, of the school of thought. What goes up must come down. So you do have a trade design potentially here if it breaks below 47.30. Right? This would be a quick scalp to the downside. You do have the 200. You do have support from the 13 to 24 and the 48 EMAs there. Ah, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and say break the 48. That way we have less resistance. Then we're going to go ahead and go short side with this. So you could play it to the 200. But then guess what, guys? You could then use a level here. That's a 3.43 risk reward. That is your trade design to the downside. Okay. Uh, of course, it could use these EMAs for a bounce. So what we have to do is then go ahead and create a condition to play the bounce. So should you get the bounce, you're going to enter here at 4730. And you're going to ride her up possibly to intraday highs or at the very least this level there. Now, what are we establishing our risk with? Well, our risk could very much be aligned with the 13 there. That's a 1.36. Ah, not really liking it. Not liking it at all. What we can do is go ahead and tighten it up a bunch here and say, all right, this level is going to be your risk as well. So there you go. Your trade designs, you understand that in between, in between, uh, we have a 47.25 at our about and 47.30 in between in here. You do not have a trade. Okay. Uh, spy retracement play for a snipe. There you go. Let's go ahead and look at that play there. You guys were waiting for the retracement. You took it. Good job. Okay. This is a snipe. Right, because you 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 do have that thirteen there on the five minute, right? So of course this is a quick scalp. Now if you're gonna go ahead and say, all right, we're gonna play this to the downside, we could now change the design and say 
break this level and we're going put side. We also identified our level of risk here to keep it very, very tight. Boys and girls, we do not hope and pray here with the Discord and with Trade1348. We trade with precision and realistic expectations, right? There's no hope and praying in what we do. You either play with the design or you don't. And as they say, if you had a plan, you plan to fail. Okay, so this is the trade design. You got confluence to the downside, right? Things are, uh, well, We look what we have here. We have a, we have the eye gap signaling down. Again, we have conditions to the downside. There goes your trade design. It is definitely flirting with it. Or text update on hope. 1,000% <laughs> short with a cost to borrow of $1 million. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going to happen here. Of course, you got this level. We have to break it. That's, that, that is just is non-negotiable. Otherwise, what this becomes is a bounce. Okay. So, look at that. Uh, damn, I'm jumping into that. Ha <laughs> ha, Daily. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, so this is, uh, hmm. You got that 13. You see how it's respecting the 13. It, it, it just, it is the way the market rolls. Okay, so you want to play this bull side, huh? Well, what we need to see is... Just some consolidation. We need a zone where it can settle, okay? And and I'm not opposed to playing bullside after it's in fact settled and or it's retreated, right? And just finding those lows. This is a game of patience. You guys want to make money, you got to be patient. There are alternatives, though. You could go ahead and get a 9 to 5 and just be patient while the clock slowly ticks to afternoon lunchtime, and then you come back with itis and you're watching it slowly tick all the way to five o'clock. And then you're stuck in traffic and you're driving slowly. <laughs> oh man, centimeter marches while you're, you're on your way home. Okay, so this is the spy. Let's just once again be patient, okay? Let's be patient here. Um, let's see what else. You also die slowly inside, of course. Like, why, why am I putting his kid through private school? Yeah. Uh, morning, everyone. Ran late today. John Cashola. Hey, welcome. Good to see you here. Uh, but hey, you get beans in a 401k. <laughs> yeah, a 401k. <laughs> You're going to sit there and be like, wow, I'm getting a whole 10% annually. <laughs> okay. Okay. If anybody's getting fucked, it's retail. Retail's getting fucked, right? And people who take on a 401k, you're getting fucked. Actually, 401k is just a really nice dressed up, uh, uh, I, I, I guess, uh, a gift. But it's not even for you. It's, it's for Wall Street, right? You know, you go ahead and get a whole company 401k. And then now you got a shitload of cash that's going to go into some Vanguard. It's, it's going to make its way into Wall Street. And... Somebody's going to make a shit ton of money, but it's not you until you join Trade1348. So Trade Design looks like it's winning. You're also looking at that 24 right there, right? That 24 can be a, 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 a destroyer of dreams. Absolutely. So you want to pay attention to that 24, okay? If you cannot break that 24, this Trade Design then becomes invalid and then you resume your bull side trade, okay? So just being mindful, you know what your risk is, and you know you have the 24 in contention. Hey, no guts, no glory. Moving along, let's see uh, what else we have. Any more alerts? Meta down. Okay, so the market is showing a direction right now, right? Let's go ahead and check out Meta to the downside. Meta, where are you? Oh, oh, Meta. Oh, no. W what happened? Oh, no. Go going to previous day lows, as it seems, right? You guys need to now start paying attention to 
the bottom out. Where's this happening? Okay. Uh, give us some time. Let it breathe. I'm going to go ahead and remove this level here on Thigh Gap. Okay. Let's remove that. Oh, my God. What are you doing, Meta? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Uh, yeah, we, we, we found it. We found it. We found where it stalled. Going back to the five minute, you could see that's essentially where it stalled. You're waiting for that bounce. You do have a level up here, which is basically probably your target zone, right? You got your target zone right there. That's with meta. Let's go ahead and look at the spy. And well, the spy, <laughs> that trade design printed. My God, this is good for TV, isn't it? Because I'm recording it. And of course, trade design, you have to respect the trade design. Now we're looking at a bouncy bounce. You have this trade design right here that was waiting for you. Legit, it was right there. You have it. But you also have to contend with the 48, then the 24, then the 13. Come on. Right? So, again, <clears throat> can't really tell you much here. This trade design paid. It, it, it paid handsomely. Whew, it paid handsomely. Look at this. Where are we going from? 453, 48, all the way down to uh, 452, 85. Those are decent percentages. And then now you have the trade design that you were ready for, and now you're playing... The volatility, you're playing the down and the up. All right. Jeez. There was money to be made in this trade. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now let's go and check out NVIDIA. Right. Could the market... Ah. Remember, we were looking for a stall point with NVIDIA. I think you got it. Okay. Remember, you are contending with this level here okay you could then go ahead and reformulate the trade design now of course this trade design paid and then some okay so let's go ahead and say trade design to the upside we break this level here we are going to use this level at uh, 443.70 as yeah we break that we're good now we have a level of risk i'm not really liking it too much here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the one minute <clears throat> and tighten it up a little bit. <clears throat> so we got 442.44. Let's see what that gives us. We're going to tighten up the risk a little bit. Let's see. And then our risk to reward. Let's zoom out, guys. This is going to be... Uh, a one. All right, 1.7. This is good is decent so you're coming into this trade design let's go back to the five minute there okay you got a 1.7 risk of reward again it's a game of patience be patient you know that it has to break this threshold and all indicators have to guide you into this okay so you got a break of uh, confluence to the downside right and essentially what you want to do is see green and the green confluence and you want to see the break that is your trade design to the upside. From there, you could secure the bag and then wait for it to break up here. From there, you can secure the bag. Then you wait for it to break into this trade design. So we're going to literally stair step our way back if it catches its breath and goes bullside, okay? All right, guys, and thank you for tuning in. Make sure you check out the link down in the description. I do this every morning for our community, an exclusive group of premier traders who have decided that they're going to take financial responsibility in their own hands. And I hope to see you there soon. So I'm signing out. Peace.